Now, we will continue working through the case setup process. In the case setup doc, click on events and check the cyclic checkbox. In the period field, enter 720 crank angle degrees. To control flow between regions separated by valves, Converge activates and deactivates disconnect triangles. Use the events dialog box to prescribe when valves are open and when they are closed. You need to create five events, so click the plus button five times. The first event will be when the intake valve opens. In the event start column, enter minus 410.7 crank angle degrees. In the region one drop down menu, select cylinder, and in the region two drop down menu, select intake system two. In the event column, select open. In the second row, enter the intake valve closing event. Use minus 100.5 crank angle degrees, cylinder, intake system two, and close for the event start, region one, region two, and event fields respectively. Next, set up the exhaust valve opening. In the third row, enter minus 600 crank angle degrees, cylinder, exhaust system, and open. Next, set up the exhaust valve closing event. In the fourth row, enter minus 334 crank angle degrees, cylinder, exhaust system, and close. The last event specifies the two regions of the intake port that are permanently open. If you prescribe only an open event between two regions, Converge will allow flow between them for the entire simulation. Enter zero crank angle degrees, intake system two, intake system, and open. Once you're done adding events, click OK to close this dialog box. Now it is time to set up the physical models for this simulation. In the case setup doc, click on spray modeling. Click on the import data from file button and import the spray.in file from the SI8 Sage PFI archive. This will load the recommended values for the spray models used in this simulation. Please refer to chapter 12 in the Converge 2.2 theory manual for detailed information about each parameter. The most important aspect of setting up the spray model, and the only one covered in this video, is orienting the spray. Click on the Injectors tab, highlight Injector 0, and click Edit. Choose the Nozzles tab, select Nozzle 0 at Injector 0, and click Edit. You can use this dialog box to configure the geometry, location, and orientation vectors for the spray and the nozzle. For this case, we will use the default values. Click OK to exit these dialog boxes. Click on Combustion Modeling. Click the Import Data from File button and select the combust.in file from the SI8 Sage PFI archive. Click Import and Converge Studio will load the recommended values for Sage Combustion Modeling. This case uses the Sage Combustion Model in conjunction with the Multi-Zone Model to accelerate the solution of detailed chemical kinetics. Click OK to close this dialog box. Click on Turbulence Modeling. For this case, we will use a Reynolds Average Navier-Stokes RNG K-Epsilon model. Uncheck the Base Distance to Wall on Full Cell Size checkbox and leave all of the other turbulence modeling parameters as default values. Click OK to close this dialog box. Click on Source Sync Modeling. This case uses two sources to model the spark plug. Click the Import Data from File button and select the Source.in file from the SI8 Sage PFI folder. Click Import and Converge Studio will load the two sources and they will appear in the Sources pane. In the General tab, you can specify the source type, units, value, 
and max temperature. Below that, you can enter the mode, start and end times, and the period. Use the Shape tab to enter the shape, dimensions, and location of the source. Finally, you can use the Motion tab to control the source's movement. Note that the two sources have the same shape in the same location. Also, they both begin at negative 15 crank angle degrees and they overlap for 0.5 crank angle degrees. We set up the sources as such to simulate the breakdown and arc glow phases of a spark plug. When you're done setting up the sources, click OK to close this dialog box. Click on Base Grid. In this dialog box, set the DX, DY, and DZ values of the base grid to 0.004 meters. This base grid size should give sufficient resolution for the simulation. Click OK to close this dialog box. Click on Adaptive Mesh Refinement. In the Minimum Cells field at the top of the dialog box, verify that 1 is entered. Then, enter 1.5 million in the Maximum Cells field below. The regions you defined earlier will be listed in the Available Regions and Active Regions boxes below. You will need to move the Cylinder and Intake System 2 to the Active Regions box by highlighting the region name and clicking the right facing arrow button. Next, check the Velocity and Temperature checkboxes at the bottom and click on the Temperature tab. Click on the Timing Control Type drop down menu and select Cyclic. In the Start Time field, enter minus 17 crank angle degrees, and in the End Time field, enter 131 crank angle degrees. Click OK to close this dialog box. Click on Fixed Embedding, and then click on the Import Data from File button. In the SIA Sage PFI archive, import the embedded.in file. This will load six embeddings for the simulation. For each embedding, you can specify the entity type which defines the shape in which the embedding will occur. Use the mode keyword to specify frequency with which the embedding occurs. The scale keyword determines the embedding level within a fixed embedding region. Below that, you can enter the start time, end time, dimensions, and location for a fixed embedding. Note that start and end times are only available for cyclic and sequential modes. If you click on a boundary type embedding, Converge Studio will highlight the corresponding embedding in the graphical window. That way, you can verify the location of fixed boundary type embeddings. Click OK to close this dialog box. Now you have finished setting up the case in Converge Studio. Note that if you click on any case setup doc heading to open the case setup module, you will see a templates drop down menu that you can use to load in a case template to ensure that all of the case setup parameters are correct. Click on this menu and select the port fuel injection case with Sage and then click the load this template button. Converge Studio will then load the template containing this Sage PFI engine case with all of the correct setup parameters. Click on the Timing Map button to open a timeline of the various simulation events plotted against crank angle. The Timing Map displays the timing of valve and injection events, sources, mesh refinement, and other time-dependent events for the simulation. Use this display to verify that you have configured simulation events properly. Note that embedding and AMR events begin a little before and end a little after events of interest, such as injection. This practice ensures that Converge will capture the relevant physics. For more information about the case setup process, please see the Converge Theory Manual and the Converge Studio Manual. Thank you for watching.